Bluffton University announcing today they will have field turf in place by the start of the football season this fall. It's part of a project that also includes resurfacing the track at Salzman Stadium and also upgrading the parking, walkways, and adding a donor recognition area as Bluffton alumni and friends have raised more than three quarters of a million dollars for the project. Perhaps in the fall, the improved Salzman Stadium will find its way into the top five plays, but for now, Austin Scott with plenty of long balls and diving catches from the Diamonds to choose from. Bath Wild Kittens beginning their WBL title defense against OG to open up the countdown. Bath relying on the pitching of Julia Miller. She picks up the K here, one of her seven on the evening as the Wildcats win 5-1. Tremendous display of leather at number four as Bell Fountain travels to Coldwater. Derek Toby pops one up into left. Clay Wisner closes in on it and extends for the diving grab. He's not done in this inning. Aaron Harlemer drives one to left field and Wisner backs to the warning track, falls, and still comes up with a fantastic grab. Coldwater comes out with the victory in this one, though. Time for the bats to make their way onto the countdown. St. Henry taking on Bell Fountain. Liz Ulenhake tees off on this one and sends it up and over the fence and left center for the home run. That homer shows up big on the scoreboard as St. Henry takes the win 8-7. Minster Softball takes the runner-up spot as they invade KC Geiger Park in St. Mary's. Reagan Hahn makes great contact here and the ball just gets over the wall in left center for the home run. The orange and black split this doubleheader with St. Mary's. Back to Coldwater for the number one play this week. Friday night action against Liberty Benton. Brody Hoying at the dish and he's gonna get tricky for the camera here. Opposite field, Spaloosh! Looks like that home run would have taken out a front window if it wasn't for the netting and right. Cavaliers win this one 8-1. Check back next week to see more home runs, strikeouts, and maybe even a forehand winner on the Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays.